Hey guys, I'll be sharing my experiences about tabling at a convention and an artist alley. So I tabled at London Film and Comic Con winter, so it was in November. So far, I've been to three conventions as a visitor and I also tabled at a craft fair exhibition for my old work. I had a roughish idea about what it's like to table at an exhibition slash fair and because of that, I did a little bit of research, like a teeny tiny amount. I watched a lot of vlogs and I joined a lot of artist early discords to like soak up knowledge and everything. What I learned, you can never be too prepared. Despite packing one month in advance, I still forgot a lot of things like safety pins and glue. But luckily I'm local so I could bring them overnight for the next day. I also didn't finalize my prices till the day before the convention which is really bad don't do that <laughs> expensive doesn't mean good i literally just used a king bed sheet and, as a table cover and that's a whole lot cheaper than the, the fancy 50 pound exhibition tablecloth i thought i needed i say 50 quid and it also fit my brand colors as well Bundle it. If something doesn't sell well, then you can bundle it or turn it into a mystery bag. I sold quite a few prints by bundling them with stickers and buttons that had similar themes or fandoms. If you notice people buying two or three of a type of item a lot, turn that into a deal and ask them if they want a little deal. And a lot of the time, they'll say yes. People love bargains. I am people. What I do next time. Make more types of prints. I only saw four types of prints and I was being a bit of a perfectionist about it. I should have made more types of prints, even if it was something simple. Make A5 prints. A4 can be pretty big for some people to carry around, as a lot of people had small bags on them. Research what's popular, especially for the convention that you're going to. But not in the cash grabby draw fan out of shows you've never seen sort of way, but in a strategically draw things from shows you like and you know that are popular. Doctor Who is pretty popular here and a lot of visitors came especially to see David Tennant and Jodie Whittaker but for some reason making Doctor Who match never really crossed my mind. Another thing I noticed that was really popular was Stranger Things though I've never seen it. If you're going to an anime convention, it makes more sense to draw anime merch than Marvel stuff or an obscure French radio drama. I feel like I'm calling someone out there. <laughs> what I've noticed, for me, 60% of purchases were cash. And I'm so glad I bought a float with me. I literally ran to the bank at 3pm the day before the con to get one after humming and hurrying about it for days. I assumed most people would use card and didn't have cash and it wouldn't be worth bringing one. Which is silly. It may be different for you, though it makes sense to have a float just in case. And for those of you that don't know, a float is like just reserve cash you have. So when someone pays you, you can give them a change. What I liked, I liked meeting fellow artists and it was so cool to see so many people just like doing art and stuff and selling art and yeah i met lots of cool people and i also really liked setting up my table it was really fun just like making it look cute and decorating it and i want to get more stuff to decorate it <laughs> but i might have to hold off a bit i don't want to like spend too much what I brought, I brought a lot of things. <laughs> Hold on. I brought hand cream, super glue, scissors, tape. I bought, it was both cellar tape and like electrical tape. It's like something really like sticky. I brought hand sanitizer, snacks, a calculator, safety pins, Velcro ties, money box, a float, my sketchbook my tablet, the Y cubes, you know, the things 
to hang up all my prints and stuff. Those are Y cubes. Got a tablecloth, a pricing sheet, storage box, a shelf, my banner, and my suitcase. Merch I sold. I sold A4 prints, stickers, tote bags, and dice prints and badges. What I didn't like. I didn't like people blocking my table. It was quite annoying, especially because there was a little cafe in front. So a lot of people would queue in front of it to get to the cafe. Sometimes people would just stand in front of my table, but just like, they weren't looking at my table, they're looking at something else. They were just standing there for a really long time. Or just like standing in front to chat with their friends and I'm like, I was just thinking, get out of the way. I don't want to be like rude and tell them to get out of the way, but maybe. And lots of people would just like come look at badges or stick and go, haha, that's so me or what a mood. And then they'll just walk off and not buy it. And I'm like, come on, come on, just buy it. You know, you want to buy it. Come on, come and buy it. And once I had a little hater, there was this kid and the mum, and the mum was like, oh, I want to buy this button. And the kid was like, no, you don't need it. I was like, wow, okay, little hater, watch. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> Another thing I didn't get was sometimes people would pick up a sticker, look at the back of it, and then pull it back down and walk off. And this happened a lot. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe they didn't know that it was stickers. I I don't know. It's it still confuses me. Or oh, another thing that really annoyed me, my summer card reader refused to connect with my Android phone, so I had to use my sister's iPhone instead, and it was really frustrating. I hope I can fix that issue somehow. But it seems to work well with my Samsung tablet though, so fingers crossed for my next cons because I'm gonna have to use the tablet. <laughs> Was tabling worth it? Yes. Tabling made me a lot more confident in my art and made me realize that social media isn't everything. Seeing people in person liking and buying my art and merch was really cool to see and it made me so much more confident in my art. I didn't break even though I was very close to doing so and I covered the cost of my table and a helper's pass which were £80 for the table and £30 for the helper's pass. I spent around £400 and I made about £300. So for my next con I'm hopefully gonna make 100% profit. Will I do it again? Yes! I went to table at more conventions. It was so fun and I just loved coming up with merch ideas and decorating my table, meeting people, and it's just vibes. It's, it was especially great when like, I, I know someone in cosplay and they were cosplaying a character from a fandom I drew and then they came over and I was like, oh, wow, fandom, and I'm like, yes. That was great. So now I've experienced with this convention, I can use this knowledge for other conventions as well and make more types of merch too. I really want to make charms and earrings and my absolute like top tier thing I really want to make like right now is to print my comics and sell them. So <laughs> It was kind of ironic because on my banner it literally says like comics but I didn't sell any comics and I was like oh no <laughs> but this next time I will have comics so I have my webcomic page the way it's in the description if you want to read that and I'm in the middle of converting it into print format and I might make a video about that so let me know if you're interested in that because converting it is kind of weird and it took me a real long time to just figure out the logistics but actually getting started is pretty easy though convoluted so i have a question for you do you want to table at a convention or in an artist alley have you already tabled at a convention if so 
you have any tips anyways thank you for watching see you in the next one bye